Oh, he's like frozen. I'm sure, it's colder than what they're eating to be at. I have good weather to run in. We'll work on your trip. We'll work on your trip. So, more mods coming to my truck. But I'm gonna show you all how to install new speakers on the Ram 1500. It's a 2012, it doesn't have the upgraded system. Doing the fronts, the rears, and the little corner one. We're gonna knock this out. So hopefully you can see that. But the front is a lot easier. You just need a pry tool to pop this guy out. Whoops. Like that. That guy pops off. Move this out the way. It's a little dusty, of course. And you have your speaker. Your little, I don't want to call that a tweeter, but it's a real tiny one. Three incher. That we're going to replace with this kicker. To remove it, you're going to need a, a dumbass brother right there. Seven millimeter. All right, you mess up like this, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the speaker down there. So the key is, don't drop this freaking speaker. You gotta have this ready to go. Have this ready to go and plugged into your new speaker. I got sweat in my eye. Ah. So, right now, I dropped the speaker in the hole when I was trying to disconnect the part that goes from the truck to the speaker. Make sure you put this in first. So once you unplug that, excuse my shaky hands. Once you unplug that, you can plug this in right away so it doesn't the wire doesn't just fall through. It's gonna be hard to kind of tell, uh, but if you're doing it on your own RAM, just pay attention to that because it'll fall through and pitch to get out. I'm doing this blind to be honest with you. You want a screwdriver or something? No, it's a flathead. So just a quick before and after. This is the kicker, or the kicker in stock, and the magnet size, significantly larger, higher quality everything. This isn't. This is like some kind of plastic, but this is like paper. You can like tell. It's hard to tell right there, probably on the GoPro. But that's super cheap feeling. This is. And it has the little tweeter in there too, so it's gonna sound significantly bre uh, better. We already listened to the other one, and that one you could just tell right off the bat that that one just is way more clear, is way, way sharper. So we just finished up the front ones. They sound good. We tested them out. Super clean, super crisp, especially compared to these. Now I'm gonna do the uh, fronts next. So I'm gonna do probably do passenger side, and then I'll hop on driver side and do those next. So I gotta take off the door panel to get to the speaker that's in here. So you just, there's a uh, Phillips head right here. So you just unscrew to take this guy off. Um, that is the only one, if I'm not mistaken, that you have to unscrew to be able to take this off. Then you have these, on. there's there's a couple of them around here. 
It's a little Torx bit. I don't even know what size it is. I want to, oh, it's T15. Torx? Yeah, T15 Torx. Not Torx. <laughs> and uh, they don't come off from there. And then you'll, you'll lift directly up and you gotta pop this guy off too. And that's how you'll lift, that's how you'll take off this whole door panel. And of course, since we have the buttons and things like that, there's gonna be a, a plug you're gonna have to watch out for. So when you pull it off, don't just yank right off. You're gonna have to pull it off and unplug that before you can start pulling things off. There's this little cover for this guy. Pops right off with a little plastic trim remover. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and then we'll get to when we start uh, removing the speaker. So be careful, these are plastic. So don't put the impact driver to it because you'll mess it up real quick. Just do it by hand. So just remove all of them. There's two, three, four, six. And then I remove this guy, just a quick little pop off. Don't be afraid to be aggressive with it. No, then you gotta unscrew these guys some more. All these should come out pretty easily. If it doesn't come out, then, I don't know, yank or something. Because I've never had an issue where uh, they don't come out. But then again, too, I've never worked on a ram like this before, so they're probably a little different. I never had screws like that. The, most cars, like Hondas and stuff, have like the plastic ones that you just pop out aggressively. There you go. Oops. My eye! <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. When you go to pull shit, just be careful. See? Put your hand there in front of them. Catch them. Get your plastic trim tool. Yeah, I'm getting it. There's me. Yeah, I got the two tweeters there. Fucking good. So, you just lift it up. It's gonna slide right off. Then you unplug it right here. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be this green guy. Um, they're hooked on right here. I have some tape that I'm gonna throw on there just to help with any creaks or sounds or anything like that. And I'm also gonna, I actually don't need to tape these. These already have that same kind of tape on there, that black like plastic or whatever, like black cloth. It's like like baseball wrap or whatever, but it's like for cars. So I won't need to do that, but I'm gonna put them on these guys so it's nice and quiet. So it kind of keeps it from rattling or creaks or anything like that. And now to remove the speaker, it's a five millimeter. And this you could use, just don't tighten it back on with it. Just zip them off real quick. Gonna have to drop them. Just hold on to it because it's, this is the last one. And it comes right out. Unplug right here. Pull this guy like that. And there you have it. This is a six by nine. I'm replacing it with a six and a half. I'm replacing it with a six and a half. Uh, I got this through uh, Crutchfield. They say the six and a half will work for the front. They give you a bracket to come with it. I wasn't gonna question them. They've been doing it forever. Um, so they give you a bracket that way you can uh, put in your new six by nine. But just quick comparison for what you get compared to the stock. This is just hardware that comes with it. I don't need that. I already got all the stuff I need. That, if you don't have a cover. Significant difference. Significant, like I said, like a paper, like I don't know, cloth maybe, but this is like a plastic, like some kind of synthetic or whatever. The tweeter on the inside too. So these, all these speakers are gonna sound super crisp and super clean. So all of these are gonna come with uh, these little plugs, at least from Crushfield, they'll send it to you. Save you like 10 bucks each or something like each pack. It's gonna be a thicker end you plug it into, right? And the thinner end. You can't mess this up, it's dummy proof. Uh, I forgot to mention that with the tweeters, but they'll all come with that, the fronts and the rears. If you order from Crutchfield, then, you'll, then it'll come with it. If you get it from Amazon or anything like that, you are gonna have to get that, find the part number and all that by yourself. So, I recommend going to Crutchfield, just more convenient. <laughs> got that long hair so as i said why'd you get what, what's up with the long hair it was like actually it shades me his hair mm, that's sense. funny yeah. never would have thought of that that's why i never grew my hair out right fuck yeah i'm so yeah, excited cool on his son. that is cool man that's 
The brackets are good too. Thank you. I know. These are the old ones? Yeah. Yeah. They're light as fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. Dude. Man, they suck, yeah. bro. So, I didn't film it, but I did the bracket. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to get these guys to line up and go in right without having to drill extra holes. But it's in there. Sounds good. Tested it. Now I'm going to put the door panel back on, cover it all back up, and then start the back. What are you doing there? I'm putting some of this, I don't know what this is called, Tessa tape or something like that. It's basically the cloth tape I was talking about that makes things quieter. I'm going to put it on the plastic parts that rub. So if like it vibrates, things like that, it doesn't get all, uh, it doesn't make a rattle sound. Okay, so once you take off the four five millimeter bolts that hold on this old speaker, then you can go ahead and put your new one on. Like, I don't know if I got a clip of it, but like I said, I put the bracket on this one, put the little pigtail things on here. So all I gotta do is just uh, plug this in and slap it on. on make sure they line up pretty good it's not perfect but it does the job just enough to hold it to put a couple in okay so once that in well, once that's in you do the four screws then you just basically just do everything in reverse put it back together I'm gonna slap some of this little uh, cloth tape like I was saying on this little switch because I did notice a little router and I noticed it's kind of loose so I'm gonna just throw some just around this bottom part just so it tightens it up and just so it kind of uh, makes it a little quieter so when the bass kicks, it doesn't start rattling. There you go. So the back door is the same as the front door. You have to take off this Phillips head right here. Take off this little cover. Uh, there's this little plastic trim. Just pops right off. It's not hard to do. Just a little force on there. Get your fingers under there. And then set of six of these little guys, there's only five. Same thing, lifts right up. There's a plug right here if you have the electronic uh, window thing. Same thing, and then uh, once you're in there, it's another four bolts, and I'll get to that once we, once I get there. Sometimes it spins with it, so you kind of gotta force it so it can come out like that. And this is plastic, so you can just pop it right out. Just wanna get started so you can get the thing in there. So, once you take off the, do uh, the uh, door panels, just unzip these guys. And these are all the same. It's five millimeter all across. Excuse my back seat, by the way. You can see the mess in the background. Unplug, right? And then this compared to, oh shit, don't drop it. To so this, significantly larger, made in Mexico. Made in Mexico. I know. Made in Mexico. <laughs> Just a lot newer. <laughs> Just higher quality Mexican made. You see, made in Taiwan. <laughs>